Welcome to Central Texas Gardening. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing a homemade DIY first flush diverter system for my IBC tote rain harvesting setup I got here. So stick around and we'll get going. Just a quick summary uh, before I show you my plan design here. This is my original rain harvesting design where I collect water off my gutter system, um, which goes directly into my IBC tote. I had this cloth filter on here, which was doing a good job, but it, it would get backed up really quick. So so these would, would barely fill at all. So the water was um, getting clogged, backing up, and already going back up and down into my downspout, into my uh, yard drainage system. So, um, so today I'm gonna be installing a, a first flush diverter, which I'm gonna put up against the, uh, the brick wall here. And I'm gonna go down to the ground with it. It's gonna sit on some bricks down here. This is two inch pipe. We're gonna go in the first flush is gonna be a three inch pipe. Now this is gonna be a homemade system. Uh, this isn't a kit or anything I ordered. I'm using some leftover pieces I had from uh, building my chicken coop and chicken feeders. Uh, I think I spent maybe $25 for the rest of the parts and I don't even have a plastic ball. Like some of those kits come in that rise up in the pipe to block it off once it gets to the top. So I'm gonna be trying a, um, two homemade methods. The first would be the empty water bottle, which I've seen some people do. And the second is I'm actually using one of my kids Easter eggs, plastic Easter eggs. I had some leftover um, weathering tape. So I kind of sealed it up with it and it actually does float. So we're going to test it and see if it floats to the top and uh, gets blocked off at the top. So let me get everything laid out on the ground here and I'll kind of show you um, what, what my plan is. So here's my first flush diverter system kind of laid out. Um, the, the top pipe is your two inch pipe, uh, which is going to connect to my existing system right up here. Uh, it goes down into a, um, uh, a reducer. Um, so this is going to go from two inch to three inch. And this is all three inch pipe here. And then I come down and I just have a 90 on here, a uh, little piece of uh, three inch pipe, and then have this connector, which I still need to um, seal on. Then at the end of that is just my cap, which I can screw on. And uh, I notice a lot of people on YouTube that have this kind of system, they can kind of unscrew this and that kind of can control the amount of water that's coming out of this. So instead of the water just sitting in, sitting in here, it'll slowly drain out instead of, you know, if you have this too tight and it doesn't drain out when you go to undo it, it's just gonna, instead of getting a couple gallons of water all over you, you can allow it, kind of let slip drip over time. I know the kits you can get, like on Amazon, they come with a little um, threaded nozzle on the end that slowly drips away. But again, this is supposed to be a homemade DIY setup I'm doing since I had a lot of these pieces already left over and only had to buy maybe um, $20, $25 or so worth of parts. I think those kits run maybe a minimum of $60. So the whole point was to try and do this myself with some stuff I had left over to save some money. So that's my setup. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, seal on the remaining pieces I have left and we'll get it on over there. And Okay, so we're going to um, seal the remaining pieces I have here. Or should I say the remaining piece I have here. Um, I'm using a primer and PVC cement. I recommend you do use the primer uh, a lot of videos I see people aren't using it but I've always had good luck with it so I tend to just spread it around here on the part that's going to slip on and then I do do a little bit in the inside connector I'm going to be doing then I kind of do the same thing with the cement just take a little bit Rub it around right there and top that primer. And again, just like the primer, I'll do the inside of the uh, connection piece that I'm doing. And shove it on there. I usually hold it in place um, just to make sure that so sometimes if you push it on here, we'll push the piece out a little bit. So I tend to hold it on just for, just for about 10, 15, 20 seconds or so. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit, and we'll move on to the next step. 
All right, so we're gonna do a little test here. Um, I had this crazy idea of, uh, since this wasn't a kit, I didn't have a plastic ball or anything, was I saw this laying in our living room that our kids play with, these plastic Easter eggs. I had some of that Gorilla weathering tape left over, so I kind of sealed it around and sealed up the holes and everything, and hopefully, uh, I think this might work. If all else fails, I can just use a um, empty plastic bottle to put in there. And the goal is, is when this fills up, your first flush fills up, this A is going to rise. Eventually, it's going to get to this uh, three inch to two inch reducer and it'll stop right in there. Um, it might go sideways, it might go like this, but the whole point is to stop a lot of that, um, especially larger debris from getting up through there. So let's get this in there. So I just toss it in there. We're going to screw this on and let me go get the hose on and I'll fill it up to the top and we'll see if it gets up there. Okay, so the water bottle does work. Um, as you can see, it's going down now. Uh, that's because we have water running out of the cap down here. But the empty water bottle does work. It does come up and stop this part up top. And I don't have this screwed on super tight, so it does slowly leak. Um, I'm probably going to tighten it up a little more. I don't know if I want it to leak quite that much. I don't want this whole system to be getting uh, filled up constantly during a rain. So I'll probably try and screw that on just a little more. Um, so the water bottle works. I did try the, the egg, um, but the egg just wanted to stay down in this piece down here. It did not want to come up vertical, but hey, it was worth a shot. That's the fun of it is trying weird different ways to try and make these things work. So I'm gonna stick with the water bottle, um, but everything else is working great on it. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and get it over there and see if we can mount this thing up. Let me show you all real quick why I'm actually doing this. This is my original pipe that went across um, from the original system into my totes. As you can see, there's actually a lot of stuff that gets into here. And the filter I was telling you all about just gets completely clogged. So this is the reason I'm doing a first flush system. And I don't even have any trees above my roof. This is just dirt and um, pieces of my shingles that get in here. So so th this is the main reason I'm going to be installing this first flush system is hopefully, hopefully to uh, limit the amount of stuff that's getting into my system. Okay, so everything is not quite cemented up yet, but this is kind of the idea I'm going for. Water should come down in here and then go straight down to our first flush system. The bottle should come up, seal off, and then the water will continue to go here and down into my totes. And then when that's full, it should backfill here and then come down to my downspot. I'm going to get a longer two inch pipe to go further down in here, but uh, I'll take care of that later. So let's go ahead. Let me get everything sealed up with some cement. I'll probably leave a couple pieces. Um, loose that are easy for me to take this apart if I need to so let me get everything sealed up here and then I'll probably do a quick test with a hose on it okay so for this tee um, I feel like this definitely needs to be cemented right down here it already is up here but down here for sure because when that water bottle gets up in there I do want it to um, I do want it to hold be watertight up here is the best I can so I'm gonna cement here and then I'm gonna do it right under here so yeah we're gonna cement this piece right here since this is kind of already kind of got some I guess gravity weight working in its favor I'm not going to cement the bottom of this 90 however if I have some leaking issues in the future I, I will do it but for now I don't think I am just because if I don't seal this part I can take this whole assembly apart from here if I need to for, for anything or for cleaning or anything so we're just going to PVC pipe the part that comes into the 90 right there Primer. Luckily, I haven't run water through this in a while, so it's pretty dry. Put my cement on there. And put it together.
Okay, so looking at this while I was pulling that in, that two inch pipe doesn't quite look straight. Um, it's kind of angled, angled a little downward, so um, I'm going to see if I can get another brick to put on the bottom here so I can level this off. I don't want I don't want an incline really for my water when it's come up. I don't want to have to has to do an incline to get in there, which I'm pretty sure it will make it in there anyway anyway, because where it goes in is still lower than this 90 up here. But just for the sake of trying to do it right, um, I'm gonna raise up this three inch pipe a little bit, see if that helps. Okay, so I put another brick down there on the bottom. This looks much better. It's actually now um, going downhill, going into my tote, so uh, we're going to keep it like that. I, I think I am going to, um, I am going to seal this. I, I can, I can see water definitely dripping out of here. It's sealed on the other end, so I'm going to seal it right here. So when this whole thing comes off, the whole three-inch uh, first flush system, this pipe going to my totes will come with it, which is no big deal. I don't see myself taking this apart that that often. So we're going to pop this one out. Get my primer in there on the pipe. Cement. And again, this is just to help with any leakage. Um, I want to make it, like I told you, I want to make it easy to take it apart if I need to, but I also don't want to cause unnecessary leakage if I don't have to. If it comes down to it and there's a lot of leaking going on, I will go back and seal up just about everything if I have to, but my goal is to not have to do that. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, other than just having to work on getting a two inch pipe to extend down to my downspot right here, I think that's pretty good. So let me get my hose and I'm gonna run some water through it and hopefully we can hear it filling up in the first flush system and um, hear it going down. Once it fills up, hopefully we'll see it start to go over and then down into my totes and then we'll should be able to hear that. So let me get the hose and we'll give it a test. Not sure if y'all can hear that, but there's there's already some water starting to fill up in here. This is a good slow leak that I'm liking. Once it fills up, it's probably gonna get a little more prominent, so I'm probably gonna have to screw this in just a little more. I don't know if I want it leaking quite that quick. Like I said, the whole point is to get that dirt out to plug it up and then go into the here, so. Seems to be working right now. Um, once it shifts over into the IBC tub, we should be able to hear it going in there. I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but the water is going down into my tote now. Hopefully that means that this is filled up with water and it should be shifting over into my tote now. So. Does look like it's working, so that's good. Let's get that back on there. Yeah, you know, it's funny, as soon as I took this off and there was an incline, um, the water started running back and it wasn't coming out of here. So I'm pretty happy I raised this up a little more to give it that decline there. So good, everything seems to be working good. So let me get the hose off and we'll open up this cap and dump the water out. Okay, so we're gonna take our cap off here and dump the water out for my test. And there's the egg, which apparently I left in there. <laughs> Um, you know, the water bottle's still in there. It's at the bottom. Perfect. Perfect. So good thing I tested it. I would have not remembered to get that egg out. So let's go ahead and tighten this back on. And I'm going to do it pretty tight. Um, because I don't want it to leak too much. So, yep.
So that's my first flush system, completely homemade DIY. Uh, I, hopefully when I get my first rain, I'll definitely be able to test it out and see what kind of stuff I'm getting down here in the bottom. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, just let me know in, in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.